Hi, I'm providing a brief overview of our recent work on contestability for content moderation. Content moderation systems are intended to protect users from harm, but unfortunately often subject marginalized communities to heightened scrutiny. And this can have major impacts on users' ability to find work, connect with friends and family, and share their experiences with others. As a result of these concerns, there's a growing interest in exploring ways to help users have a say in how content moderation works. One approach that's been proposed is designing for contestability, that is providing a set of mechanisms for users to understand, construct, shape, and challenge model predictions. In this project, we explore a user-driven participatory design approach to understanding how users would like to have a voice in deciding how content moderation works. We conducted a series of participatory design workshops drawing from communities that have been harmed by content moderation in the past. These were LGBTQ users, people of color, and artists. We conducted three workshops with each group with a total of 33 participants. Each group was given a case study that featured an experience of someone from that group that had encountered problems with content moderation. For example, participants in groups of artists heard about the experience of Betty Tompkins, an American painter known for her feminist art. Instagram has deleted more than a dozen posts featuring her artwork, and in April 2019, when she posted a photo from a catalog featuring a photorealistic explicit painting, Instagram deactivated her account. Tompkins said in a statement that because of Instagram's major role in the art world, its current guidelines are prohibitive to artists whose work is challenging or thought-provoking. Prior to the workshop, participants completed a sensitizing workbook where they were introduced to those case studies. They were also reviewed at the beginning of the workshop before participants engaged in a series of design activities. These activities were designed to be more structured at the beginning of the workshop and increasingly open-ended as participants gained confidence. Participants first filled out report cards for the platform, identifying values they considered important in content moderation. Then they considered pros and cons of specific proposals to address content moderation challenges. Towards the end of the workshop, participants engaged in more open-ended activities, creating a magical mug to help the protagonist from the case study, and then ending with their final design for helping users shape how content moderation is done. I'll focus on our second research question, the ideas that participants generated when designing for contestability in content moderation systems. For this question, we analyzed the transcripts as well as the design artifacts that were generated in the magical mug and final design activities. Using an iterative open coding, we identified three main themes. The first theme we found was a call for representation. Participants suggested both direct forms of representation, like a quote, randomly selected jury duty or vote, but also indirect forms of representation like focus groups or boards of users. While some people had theoretical reasons, people often suggested this to achieve very practical goals. For example, many participants were concerned with the cultural competence embedded in content moderation systems. These workshops were conducted during the Black Lives Matter protests of early 2020, and one participant noted that, quote, most of us would have known nothing about George Floyd had those social media platforms been censoring and not showing. And he tied the importance of these videos to the scarcity of other forms of access. Quote, for me, I think that social media platforms have to understand the difference they're making in terms of the oppressed groups in society today. So that's why I said, don't silence the voices of the oppressed. One of the beautiful things about oppressed groups is you use what's available to try to make the difference in your situation. And so someone in China or India muting that, it also serves as a double injury. Precisely because marginalized communities may lack other forms of power and access, the ability to make full use of social media becomes incredibly important. And representation by users can help platforms better address changing conditions. 
A second common theme that appeared in many designs was supporting users' communication with the platform. Participants talked about both whether the users can communicate with the platform, which we refer to as access, and how users communicate with the platform, which we refer to as argumentation. Concerns around access were typically seen in contrast to the current system, where users are stuck, quote, waiting multiple days while not getting anything back. Participants also suggested ways to support users' argumentation by allowing or even helping them to provide evidence or find the right way to say things. In many cases, participants saw this as scaffolding users' communication skills, helping them understand what the platform would consider and listen to while providing the information that they would need from the platform to argue for changes successfully. The most common and perhaps most surprising theme was the idea of increasing the love and compassion expressed by social media platforms. One participant had been temporarily suspended after posting his artwork and shared that, quote, the experience was very, very bad and I was literally shocked. It took me like two, three days to figure out what is happening because I was literally shocked. As a result, participants suggested a number of ways for platforms to behave with compassion, including providing emotional and mental health support and connecting users to their communities. In the group conversations, participants also highlighted a number of challenges for these approaches, particularly around the platform incentives and issues scaling to millions of users. Nevertheless, we think they offer some fruitful avenues for improvement. As just one example, we discuss how platforms might benefit by providing opportunities for others to co-design content moderation. There may be organizations or other third parties that understand and can design better moderation for specific domains. For example, an arts organization might be able to adjudicate and articulate reasoning for content moderation of art. Rather than trying to resolve what counts as art, platforms could delegate to organizations with tailored goals and expertise. We encourage you to look for this discussion and our others in the full paper, Contestability for Content Moderation. And thank you for your time.